No, everybody's going to have their favorites. You know, everybody's going to have their favorite teams for reasons that they don't want us to win, you know, which is fine, but, you know, um, they didn't. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I mean, when I first heard the news from Phil, we were kind of like numb. You know, it was very surreal uh -huh. that we had been through so much and actually took it to the end and actually won it. And we, you know, we're both like still trying to so We kind of got to relive those feelings over again watching the show last night, you know, seeing all the drama that happened in that last episode and running up there and all those emotions we were feeling, you know, we could feel that again. I mean, almost tearing up. You know, I think that it was, you know, pretty accurate for who we really are. You know, we're, you know, genuine, you know, you know, guys who just like to, you know, have fun and we're really competitive and it's like, you know, the shows would, would sacrifice their own race just to wait for another team, mm -hmm. which, I mean, I understand their whole you know, scheme was to probably take the, the weaker teams into the final so that they could obviously win. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. They, they said that they were. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I do. Come on. I mean, they're, they're just really nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just think it's not in their nature to be like cutthroat. I mean, these guys are just really they're nice guys. Dumb. No, they're not dumb. Right. No. Yeah. But I, I don't think that they had the desire. You know, I think when they got eliminated, they were okay with being eliminated. Mm -hmm. I think it was a competitive flirt flirtation that was going on, you know, like, like for me, you know, it was like, th th we looked at them as a threat, you know, so, but they also looked at us as a threat, and we were flirting with them, and they were kind of flirting with us, you know, not a whole lot, but we both could see through each other's game. We were both transparent to the other one, if that makes any sense, you know, so we knew that they were trying to use us and vice versa. But um, there wasn't a whole lot that we did to like prepare for it. Yeah, and I think I think one of the the biggest benefits is you know we're very compatible as friends, but we also kind of complement each other on that. Tyler is is really driven hard competitively, and so it, he would kind of fire me up. But then at the same time, you know, there's things that happen along the way where your car breaks down or or whatever, and Tyler tends to more have meltdowns where I'm a little more patient and I can take stuff into perspective and kind of like talk him out of that to like, because you really got to stay cool through the whole thing. You know, if, if you're freaking out the whole time, you're not going to do very good. Mm -hmm. I don't think people realize how intense it really is without, the, without getting sleep, without eating, having to catch flights, having to, to do all these physical tasks, mental challenges. Um, and to just never give up, you know what I mean? It, it, it was just the ultimate, you know, it's like setting goals and, and, and achieving them, you know, and it was the sense of accomplishment of winning the whole thing, you know, and that you can, I can really apply that to my own life now as far as the goals that I set and that I can accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. I, th I think, I guess the more that I think about it, that it really, <laughs> may sound funny, but it really made me appreciate where we live. Um, there's so many different cultures out there and yeah. so many different ways of life, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, you get sort of spoiled with, with our way of life here in the United States, and I think that when you travel outside, you have a respect for it, and you, you enjoy it, but at the same time, it's, it's always nice to come home. Mm -hmm.